<laughs> With Majora's Mask, though, we needed to establish a sense of urgency, a sense of fear in the player about the three-day cycle, to give them a feeling that three days is going to be the end. A.G. Aonuma. This is Legendary Adventures Podcast, a Legend of Zelda playthrough podcast. I'm Paul Riley, and this is a bonus episode for Season 6. I felt I could use a little extra time to prepare for the next season on Oracle of Ages, so I made a couple of bonus episodes to extend Season 6 just a bit. This week we're going to be talking about the sadness of Majora's Mask. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying at any second now. How sad. I am no longer part of the living, my sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they left him all alone. Soon. I'll be just another wave in the ocean, destined to disappear. Heal my sorrows. Any way you can do it will suffice. Please, heal my sorrows. There is a sadness that permeates Majora's Mask. Those quotes you heard are just a few from the game. Many storylines in the game have a sad element to them. Children are separated from parents, heroes die in tragic deaths, friendships are broken. Why is that? Luckily, we have Eiji Aonuma to answer that question. Speaking to Kotaku in 2015, he said, When we talk about the feeling of sadness in a game like Majora's Mask, for us, it's ultimately something that we think about in terms of how it motivates the player. In this particular case, that really strong feeling of sadness makes you want to save the world. And you had a similar situation in Ocarina of Time, where Ganon was threatening to destroy the world, a hero rises to oppose him. But it didn't have the same sort of tone. It was more a hero story there. In this particular case, we're looking at a slightly different way to tell that, which is that the sadness of the world can also raise a hero. In an interview with Nintendo Dream translated on Nintendo Everything, Aonuma was asked specifically about the Zora scenario. In that section, Zora band member Mikau is killed by Gerudo pirates while trying to save the eggs laid by singer Lulu. Aonuma said, I thought to make the stories for the mask relatively sad. That is how I thought of the story of Macau and his love for children. When considering relations for those characters, I ended up thinking a band could be good. I joined a band as a student, and I'm still playing wind instruments, so I thought a band would give a youth-like feeling. When I discussed this with Koizumi, we thought, let's make them have a concert in Clock Town, and so the setting was quickly decided. We wanted to connect Clock Town and the surrounding areas, so that's why the plan got great support. Of course, sadness isn't the only emotion within Majora's Mask. There is a popular interpretation of the game that each of the areas represents one of the five stages of grief. Here's the basic breakdown of the framing of each area under that interpretation of the game. Clock Town represents denial, and the Chief Carpenter is the primary representation of that as he denies the moon will fall. The swamp represents anger, most prominently portrayed by the Deku King, who in his wrath plans to kill the monkey he believes kidnapped his daughter. Snowhead represents bargaining, exemplified by Dermani, who says he heard from the owl that Link has magic. I beg you, he cries, bring me back to life with your magic. Great Bay represents depression, exemplified by Lulu, who simply stares at the ocean and does not speak after the loss of her eggs. And Ikana represents acceptance, with King Ikana and Captain Skull Kita exemplifying the idea by seeing that the ancient war is over and that Link must return the dead to rest. In a 2015 Game Informer interview, Eiji Anuma was asked about this interpretation of the game, 
he was asked if they intentionally represented the stages of grief within Majora's Mask. Here is his response. It's certainly true that each one of those different episodes you talked about has a different emotional cast to it. One feels like it was tinged with sadness, another with anger, and that was certainly intentional. But I also want to point out that it's not that each one of these episodes only has one emotion that they are conveying. There were certainly other notes that we were trying to hit as well. And the reason we did this was to allow the player to experience that emotion. To give them a chance to hook into the emotional tone of this scene and react to it and feel like they want to accomplish something in the game as a result. So, there you have it. Majora's Mask intentionally uses sadness to inspire players to save the world. Aonuma acknowledges that the emotions expressed in the interpretation that Majora's Mask represents the stages of grief are there and are intentional, but says they are not the only emotions there. There is a range of emotions that are used throughout the game to hook players into the quest. I'm currently working on Season 7, which will be about Oracle of Ages. If you would like to follow along, please subscribe. Thanks to everyone who likes what I'm doing enough to subscribe already. You're awesome! I'm Paul Riley, and I will see you next week. Thank you.